Hey guys, today I'm going to be talking about this card. This is the green-white version of the Cliffs, which we talked about last week. Uh, the, this card has gone up in price somewhat. Uh, a lot of you say it's not a $10 card, but it's like close. It's like, what, at least a $7 card right now. And I don't imagine its price will drop. Um, I imagine that the increase in price is somewhat justified by what it does and the decks that play it. The fast lands are decent, especially in a format where people are trying to combo off on turn five. This card is not at all bad. Um, the ability to, there's some decks like, actually the deck I really wanted to make, but the, it was way too expensive until recently, was the Bant deck, the Bant enchantment deck. It looks just looks so fun to attack one dude and deal like 20 damage in one little blow. And the main factor that you, was what it was like double white and it was a crown of some type, I forget what it's called, and new artwork. Leave a comment below. I just am blanking right now because I've been making so many videos in a row. That is a deck I've always wanted to play. Obviously, that's not the uh, reason this card is uh, worth money now. The reason this card is worth money now is because people know that's not going to be reprinted. It is a safe and is being played highly. So, as opposed, like we talked about the cliffs, some of the cards, Sea Chrome Coast in particular, was at one point twenty bucks, while this card was two dollars. So, for one Sea Chrome Coast, you could get ten of these. Now, in hindsight, that's not what you should have done, obviously, right? Sea Chrome Coast is still Sea Chrome Coast price. This card has just either doubled or tripled. I remember trading these for $2. Trading them for $2. I think online they were like $1.75 or something. But I traded for all these that you see right now. And I have a ton more in storage. Um, I purchased. Uh, tip, I didn't even know like I still had these uh, not in storage. The card is very good. Um, the card is exactly what you are looking for when you look at a card and you want to buy maybe a few more copies of it. You look for something that is being played, that has a low entry point. So the reason I like this one better than Cliffs, Cliffs had doubled the entry point as this one, maybe even more. The entry point is so low that you can't go wrong with this card. I mean, what's going to do? Go like below $2? Like probably not. But now it's finally come to... Uh, it finally has made it. This card has finally made it and I couldn't be more happy about it because I kept buying it and I kept buying it and it kept sticking at $2 and it kept sticking at $2 and I didn't understand why. And then suddenly, one overnight, six bucks, uh, seven bucks, could get to eight. I mean, I imagine it will break 10 without a reprint. Card is good. Uh, let's move on to Hot Master of the Fells.